Hello everyone and today we will talk about the situation at the front and what changes have occurred over the past day. And let us always start with the losses that the Russian army suffered over the past day. Russia lost 840 liquidated personnel, 16 tanks, 28 armor personnel vehicle, 17 artillery system, 1 MLRS, 3 anti-aircraft, 8 UAV and 12 vehicles and full tanks. Very good result for Ukrainian army. It is reported that Malasi Deminuha in the Kherson region came under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. The settlement itself was liberated a long time ago, but the information officially appeared only yesterday. This settlement is a very period of time fighting, but the Ukrainian troops managed to gain a foothold and they firmly hold the settlement under their control. The leadership of the Primorsky Krai of the Russian Federation is forced to introduce additional security measures and threaten the police regime. In the city of Vladivostok, Russian city, the authorities are preparing for possible protests among the local population, which expresses dissatisfaction with previously held mobilization measures and the heavy losses of representatives in the region um, in the war in Ukraine. In the temporarily occupied territories, the enemies continue to violate the norms of international humanitarian law, laws and custom of warfare. In the village of Piski, Starobil district, Luhansk region, uh, enemy of so-called military commander's office conducted filtering measures against the local population. About 30 citizens were kidnapped and taken to an unknown destination. Similar events are held in the settlement along uh, the Oleshka, uh, Novokakhovka, here, highway of the Kherson region. In addition, the highways of the Kherson region are marked by increased traffic of trucks and cars with looted property. Significant robberies are taking place in Berislav and nearby settlements. In particular, the property and repair base are exported from power grid maintenance enterprises. Aviation of the Defense Forces Ukraine during the past day struck the enemy 21 times, 20 areas of concentration of weapons and military equipment, as well as the position of the enemy's anti-aircraft defenses were affected. Our air defense forces shot down three Shahid 136 UAV. During the day, units of missile troops or artillery of the defense forces hit the enemy's control post, four areas of concentration of manpower, weapons and military equipment, and ammunition warehouse, a radio electronic intelligence station, mine explosive barriers, and other important enemy military objects. Thank you all for your attention. If this video was useful for you, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can support me. Thank you all and see you tomorrow.